Hi, this is Michael, and this is my review of the Pixel X800N Pro Flash. The N stands for Nikon. And uh, on my Nikon D7000, uh, I am using currently this Nikon Speedlight SB800. This Pixel X800N actually has a few tricks up its sleeve that uh, make it, in my mind, superior to my Nikon Speedlight. So this is the flash right here. You get a couple extra accessories with it. You get a little plastic stand for the flash. It does have a tripod mount on the bottom as well. And you also get a diffuser, plastic diffuser for the flash. And this is actually uh, not a bad diffuser, pretty good quality. Then you get a nice little nylon carry bag for the flash. And it does have a little slot in here that you can put that plastic stand in to carry it right in the bag here if you wish. And this does have a Velcro uh, closure on the back. I, uh, I guess you could use this to wrap it around a tripod leg or something like that. This is how the flash looks uh, when you put your diffuser on here. One thing I didn't uh, mention right in my original review, uh, so I'm just adding this in after the fact, is you can't uh, have the diffuser on the flash and expect the flash cover really to close. Uh, it just barely closes here. So that's a little frustrating. I wish they had made this uh, so that you could either carry the flash with the diffuser on it or at least store the diffuser uh, in the case as well with the flash but it's just not going to fit in there uh, the way things are so uh, just one minor little frustration now the way that my Nikon flash attaches to my hot shoe is like this uh, it has a this uh, pixel has a better attachment and I'll show you that in a second but when I put my Nikon cam or flash on my camera, uh, it actually is a little wobbly still. And uh, so this is the thing, this is the lock right here. And my flash still wobbles around a little bit. I think you can see that. Uh, I've never really liked this. And uh, I, you know, for the uh, cost of this flash, I assumed that Nikon would, would have the best uh, design, but it really is not. Now this uh, Pixel Flash has this type of a, a, a attachment lever here and uh, it actually is far more secure when I attach to my camera and it, it does have a little lock as well so you have to push this little button here to unlock it but it is rock solid on my camera and uh, I really prefer the way this attaches. The flash itself is very nice quality when you hold it for the very first time I think you'd be impressed it just feels like a good quality flash and uh, for the price of this uh, uh, in retrospect I wish this had been available years ago when I bought my SB800 I'd, I'd buy a couple of these rather than one SB800 uh, uh, this uses four AA batteries I've got Eneloops in there right now and uh, the door is very substantial, it does not come off the flash. And then on the other side we have your PC port, uh, and then there's a, a micro USB port. That is for updating the firmware in the flash if necessary. And then this is the external power uh, port, and that's got a little cover that closes that up. Uh, Another nice feature of this camera that even my Nikon uh, Speedlight doesn't do is it has 180 degree rotation left and right. And my Nikon Speedlight, for instance, doesn't go 180 degrees uh, in both directions. It goes 180 degrees in that direction, but in this direction it only goes that far. So uh, that is another advantage that this particular flash has. Up here you have a you have a wide this will widen your flash uh, and then you also have a reflector which will get the sparkle in people's eyes if you want to use that. Uh, this is a little flimsy, not quite as good a quality reflector as what I have on my speedlight, but it serves its purpose. Um, the display on this is very nice. Here's your on-off switch, and the display uh, is very easy to read. It does have a decent backlight on it. Um, these are your modes. It has uh, it has manual mode, TTL, and repeating mode, and you can set all the various parameters using these four buttons. And uh, and then this is a little a rotating dial here that you 
can use to make changes in the OK button here. You can do a test flash here. And overall, really impressed with this flash. Now it has, uh, you can use it as a master or a slave, of course, and uh, it has optical mode and it also has 2.4 gigahertz uh, wireless mode. So it's got a lot of functionality and very versatile flash. I love it. And uh, they say in the manual you can get up to 180 flashes with a fresh set of rechargeable batteries. Um, I haven't counted the flashes that I've gotten, but I'd say that's probably pretty accurate. I've been using the flash for a week now, and I've taken a lot of photos, and I have, I have yet to replace my batteries. So um, I'm really a big fan of this little flash. I wish I had found it years ago, and I think for the price, you just can't go wrong with it. If you have any questions, leave me a comment. I'll answer it if I can. Otherwise, thanks for watching, and have a great day.